In this video, we're going to show you how to make this peak pattern design using Derivan Fabric Art Paint. First up, you're going to need to cut yourself some stencils out of contact. These designs are downloadable on our website, the link is below. First thing you need to do is start tracing that design. Now you want to get a sharp cutting knife and cut out that pattern. Turning it around to make it easier for yourself. So, good idea to actually tape down the fabric that you're printing on. We're doing a ready-made cushion, but you could be doing another piece of fabric. And in this design, we've got the fluoro yellow fabric art paint, the blue fabric art paint, and we'll be using the white later. So using a palette knife, you want to mix the colors together to create this lovely deep green. Get your pre-cut stencil and stick it onto the fabric that you want to print. We're doing a cushion today, but you could be doing something else. It's important that you make sure you've got good adhesion so that the paint doesn't bleed. Get your spouncer. Now, you want to load it up it's getting that balance between not too much paint and enough paint. Now, working from the edges, we're going to use that fluoro yellow. Hot tip! Notice how Kat is working in away from the edges rather than into the edges. This stops it from bleeding. Now we're going to start adding some of the green that we mixed up there. So again, working inwards rather than to the edge, we're creating a gradiated green pattern and using the edge of the spouncer to create that line there. We're just going to make a bit, we're going to load the sponge up now with a darker green. And again, working inwards, and it's giving it that lovely gradiated colour. And now it's time for the big reveal. Look at that. The first leaf in this design. When you're printmaking, it's important to keep things clean. So it's a good idea to clean off the stencil in between prints, just to stop yourself getting into too much of a mess. Continue printing this leaf design till you fill the fabric that you're printing onto. It's all about making creative decisions about as to where you're going to put that pattern. Make sure you concentrate on the negative space as well as the positive. Kat has almost finished filling the cushion cover with this first leaf of the design. Notice how some of them she's actually not doing the whole of the leaf but just a portion. This just makes the design more comfortable on your eye and gives it this continuous pattern.
We've left this to dry overnight and now we're going to do the second leaf. So we're just going to mix up a good amount of the blue and the yellow but this time we're just going to add a smidge of white to the mix as well. So for this leaf design we'll also still need a bit of yellow to the side because we're going to put that down first. And now we're going to place the palm frond stencil through its next layer. Again, you need to make sure it's firmly pushed down so that the design doesn't bleed. Using the yellow, just doing a nice light application. And now with the darker green that you've made before, blend that into the design as well. So now it's just a matter of putting that next layer of leaf pattern on. So again, watch where you put your placement. Notice how Kat's got this placed over the top of the leaves but then also into the negative space. And she's also changing the direction of the way that the leaf goes as well. And there's the completed design. We think it looks quite good. Now all that's left is to heat set the design. So you put your iron on the high setting and iron over the design for three minutes. This will make the design washable and it won't fade over time. 